Welcome to this short film highlighting the necessary steps to set up a MixPre-D sound mixer, a Canon 7 DSLR, shotgun microphone and a Tascam sound recorder. This is Ollie, your average first year student. Here is the kit. At first look, this kit may appear very daunting, but if he can use it, you certainly can. We begin with the mixer. Pick up the mixer. This is where the sound is controlled. Place two Duracell AA batteries in the battery compartment to the right of the mixer, positive end first. To power up, adjust the power switch to internal. In your sound kit, you will have a long XLR cable. Attach this cable to input one. This is the cable that connects to the shotgun microphone. Ensure the switch underneath the XLR slot is set to plus 48 volts. Turn the mixer to the right. Well done. Attach the smaller red and green XLRs to the output channels. These XLRs will connect to the recorder, so switch it to line. Looking now at the front of the mixer, connect the headphones into the jack port. Adjust the headphone volume using the dial on the right. By pressing this dial, it switches between sound from the mixer and the recorder. Turn the two faders at the left down, so they are effectively off. We don't want to hear those at the moment. Take the shotgun microphone and attach to the wind jammer. Insert the microphone into the pistol grip. Attach the remaining short XLR to the end of the mic. Then wrap the cable around the grip a few times to remove excess cable. Plug the end of the XLR into the grip at the bottom. Screw the grip onto the boom pole and attach the XLR from the mixer to the microphone XLR. Now take the recorder. Place two AA batteries in the back. Make sure you have an SD card in the recorder. By navigating through the menu, find the Reformat Card option and select. Attach the green and red XLRs to the corresponding channels. Attach a small mini jack to mini jack cable from the headphone slot on the recorder to the mini jack slot on the left of the mixer. Back to the mixer, adjust the top switch to the sine wave. This gives you tone. This is used to set the levels to a baseline. Adjust the wheel to the right of the recorder until the screen displays minus 18 decibels. By listening through your headphones, listen between the recorder and the mixer, adjust the recorder volume until the tone volume sounds the same. Got that? When recording, listen to the recorder to be sure a clear sound is constant. To record, press the record button twice. By pressing just once, it sets to standby. When you have finished recording, press stop so it can save to the card. Now pick up the 7D camera. Don't drop it, it's expensive. To the side of the lens is a switch, which adjusts where the focus is controlled by the camera or the operator. Switch it to MF for manual focus. Do not switch this to AF for autofocus. That would not be good. Power up the camera checking your battery is charged and the memory card's available capacity. Go to the menu and find Format. Select this and press OK. This will reformat the card so it is ready for your use. Reformat effectively means reset, so it will be empty and ready for you to fill up with your footage. Back to the menu, select AF mode to quick. Move your record size to 1920 by 1080 at 25 FPS, which stands for frames per second, and sound record to auto. To adjust the aperture, adjust the wheel on the back of the camera. Remember, the smaller the number, the greater the aperture. To adjust the shutter speed, turn the main dial on the top of the camera. For the tripod, you will need another pair of hands. There they are. Now open the tripod, adjusting the legs so they are an appropriate height. On the head of the tripod is a spirit level bubble. Adjust the position of the head so the bubble is inside the circle. Now attach the camera with the plate to the tripod. Tighten the screw on the left of the head to ensure the camera is secure. Now you are ready to go. Good luck. 